the invention of general relativity in 1915, in which he reconceptualized how space-time works, how gravity works, you know, and connected these thought experiments that he just came up with sort of basically via pure thought to questions about the evolution of the entire universe. And then was, you know, basically found to be correct with experiments within a very short number of years thereafter. That to me is one of the most impressive things that any human has ever done. Um, and somewhat unusually, there's this idea of the solitary genius, um, you know, who just sort of sits down and thinks. And that is typically not how it works, despite despite that idea. Typically, there's, you know, if you look at, for example, the history of quantum mechanics, uh, what was developed at, you know, around the same era, many people, including Einstein, made important contributions, but it was the work of many hands. And, you know, Planck had various ideas, Heisenberg, Einstein, like, I mean, a, ho a whole host of people, all of whom contribute to the construction of this beautiful edifice. General relativity, in some sense, it was in the air. There were, you know, precursors and like other ideas, but perhaps more than any other physics idea in the last few centuries, this was just one guy sitting down, thinking very hard, and then emerging with the most beautiful theory that humanity has ever created. I, I mean, that basically doesn't happen, and it happened once, and it's he's like some Ayn Rand hero or something who just sort of went away and sort of came back with this thing. Um, and it's pretty extraordinary. Um, and, you know, obviously he deserves a huge amount of credit for it. Like, the only other thing that I can think that's somewhat analogous is Darwin inventing the theory of natural selection and relativity. Again, it was sort of in the air, pre-Darwin, but at the same time, it was, you know, a singular act uh, of creation by, you know, putting it all together in the way he did. Um, so, yeah, sort of super impressive. I mean, at both that and uh, many of the other contributions he made to other branches of physics, Einstein has a very well-developed uh, and very well-deserved reputation for brilliance.